My name is Fan Bo Xiang. I am presenting our work, Sapien, a simulated part-based interactive environment. It is a collaborative effort at UC San Diego, Stanford University, Simon Fraser University, Google Research, and UC Los Angeles. Let's start by thinking about an intelligent agent we want to build. It needs to understand the world, and then change the world based on its understanding. We have studied world understanding in computer vision and object manipulation in robotics, and we envision that vision and manipulation will be tightly related and studied together. Vision can help planning and adjusting robotics tasks, while active interaction with the world can enhance vision. In visual research, we have seen the success of data-driven methodology so can we adopt a similar approach for robotics? Well, real-world data collection is actually very expensive, and that leads us to consider simulated environment. To ensure good transferability from simulation to the real world, the simulated environment needs to consider several aspects. The physical simulation, robotics integration, realistic rendering, and simulation content such as the robot models and object models like the microwave here. Our work, Sapien, incorporates all these aspects, thus we provide a platform to study vision and manipulation together. Let's start by looking at the Sapien engine that handles physics and robotics. Sapien engine is built on the PhysX physical simulator. We expose the articulation interface for robotics and the world interface for accessing everything in the simulated world. We integrate a robotics operating system, or ROS, in Sapien Engine to support various sensors, controllers, and high-level motion planning algorithms for client-side use. With these features, Sapien Engine is able to support standard reinforcement learning scenarios and robotics tasks. Softwares depending on ROS can be our simulated robot as if it is a real one. Next, we move on to see how Sapien renders the world. Sapien Renderer takes the world information from Sapien Engine and generates images as sensor inputs. It supports RGB images, depth map, normal map, and part segmentation through GISL shaders. And it provides ray trace rendering with the optics framework. These shaders are also customizable to support special rendering needs. Now, let's see what simulation content Sapien has to offer. The most significant contribution we made is the ParNet Mobility Dataset, which is a further annotation of the ShapeNet and ParNet datasets to include more than 2,000 models and 14,000 movable parts. For each model, we annotate the rotational axis and translational axis for each movable part. For each motion, we annotate the motion range. Our annotation includes complex kinematic chains, such as the relation between the door handle and the door shaft here. And here is a demonstration of some objects in ParNet Mobility Dataset. Apart from the ParNet Mobility Dataset, Sapien allows building robot models and object layouts through standard URDF format and Python API. Combining the physics robotics engine, renderer, and assets, we have the whole architecture of Sapien summarized here. In our work, we demonstrated the usage of Sapien with several tasks for vision and robotics, including movable part segmentation, motion parameter estimation, part manipulation, and the long horizon planning tasks. So here is a video showing a possible task in Sapien. Here you see, the robot needs to pick up the buckets, load them on the cart, and move the cart to the other side of the room. I am sure you will come up with inspiring ideas, novel tasks, and research directions with Sapien. To summarize, Sapien provides simulation and rendering for vision and manipulation tasks. Sapien hosts a large-scale dataset for articulated objects. And the best part about Sapien is that it's completely open source. For more information, please visit our website.